Brazil's former president Jair Bolsonaro has applied for a six-month U.S. tourist visa. His lawyer has told the BBC. Mr. Bolsonaro has been staying in Florida since 30 December. The former president plans to stay in the U.S. while immigration officials process the visa. He has devoted 34 years of his life to public service and would like to take some time off, his lawyer, Felipe Alexander said. Mr. Bolsonaro initially traveled to the U.S. on an A-1 visa for diplomats and heads of state, which expires after 30 days. The former president hopes to clear his head and enjoy being a tourist in the United States for a few months before deciding what his next step will be, said Mr. Alexander, who works for Ag Immigration, an immigration law firm. U.S. immigration officials received Mr. Bolsonaro's request for a B-1, B-2 tourism visa last Friday, he told the BBC in a statement. Mr. Bolsonaro, who came to the U.S. ahead of his leftist successor Luis Inacio Lula da Silva's inauguration, is under investigation in Brazil after rioters stormed key government buildings early this month. On 8 January, thousands of the former president's supporters attacked federal buildings in Brasalia following his defeat in the 2022 general election. Mr. Bolsonaro has faced criticism for riots where protesters, spurred by unsubstantiated claims of election fraud, broke past security and invaded Brazil's presidential palace, Congress and Supreme Court. He has voiced regret for the unrest, but denies he caused it. The former right-wing leader, who has been nicknamed the Donald Trump of the tropics, because of his close ties to the former U.S. president, has been staying at the Florida home of former mixed martial arts fighter Josa Copyright Aldo. His supporters have flocked to the house in the gated community in Kissimmee, Florida, a state where a fifth of Brazilians living in the U.S. reside. Democratic lawmakers in Washington, D.C. have taken issue with Mr. Bolsonaro's stay in the U.S. In a letter sent earlier this month, dozens asked President Joe Biden to revoke any diplomatic visa Mr. Bolsonaro might hold. The United States must not provide shelter for him or any authoritarian who has inspired such violence against democratic institutions, they wrote. Mr. Alexander told the Financial Times on Monday that Mr. Bolsonaro bears no responsibility for the riots.